Day one for Army Recognition Editorial Team here at Paris for Paris Air Show 2019. This first day was dedicated to official visits from foreign countries and presidential visits of Emmanuel Macron. Dassault Aviation unveiled today the new generation fighter here at Paris Air Show 2019. Turkish Aerospace also unveiled a full-scale mock-up of its next fighter, the Turkish fighter. The Kawasaki C2 transport aircraft was showcased on the exhibition and Russian helicopters showcased the Ansat for the first time in Europe. This new aircraft is supposed to be, uh, as far as the NGF is concerned, uh, a demonstrator in order to check the uh, combination of different technologies. One is uh, stealth technology, second is still maneuverability because a fighter shall be maneuverable. Third is it has to be totally connected because the next generation of fighters shall be uh, connected, so this one will be also connected and will be also connected with some uh, UAVs which are called uh, for this uh, first study as remote carrier, so all together this is not only the uh, fighter, it's also the big system which will allow the capability of all the platforms and systems to communicate together with a high level of safety. We will start uh, around the, the different modules also. It's something that we call combat cloud, so to define the, the system of connectivity and also of the, the standard of communication. The design is today, as you may give a look today, uh, mainly on the stealth uh, capability because we feel that in order to, to be able to go through big defense you need to be a little bit uh, stealth but it's not enough uh, you need also to have the remote carrier to check what is going to be in front of the path of the fighter you need to have jammers you need to have other capability, other aircraft, intelligence aircraft, in order to detect and to be able to give the right information to the pilot on board the fighter or to the uh, leader of the mission uh, on the ground. So the characteristic is, as you see, it's going to be a little bit bigger than a, than a Rafale or, a, or, a, or a Eurofighter. Uh, it shall be stealth, meaning is that the antennas should be tomorrow for the radar for EW totally, uh, totally conform uh, antennas. It, it shall have a, a weapon bay which is totally internal, uh, which is not the case with the Rafale and the Typhoon. So these, these are some of the characteristics of the, of the next generation fighter. Ladies and gentlemen, dear guests, uh, it's an honor for us to having the mock-up of the Turkish fighter. And this fighter is very important. We have a promise to our nation this will be the best fighter in the Europe. As said, uh, Mr. Abrama said, program start already about five years back, but uh, we increase our speeds. There's a thousand of engineers working on the programs, and uh, we know that the value of the, the, the fighters and, um, and the famous discussion about F-35. And in the F-35, actually, my company building the center for Sulash. So this means in terms of manufacturing, Turkish Aerospace, they have the, enough strength to build uh, this fighter. Actually, this mock-up comes from the Germany and our joint venture, the Turkish Aerospace Kalai Company, which is a Turkish descent uh, the partner in the Germany. And uh, so we have also the joint venture with the German Turkish Aerospace, joint venture in Germany and Turkey also. And uh, I believe you liked it, the mock up. And uh, unfortunately, it's a mock up. But in 2023, the rollout will be real machines, and first flight is in 25. And uh, the service in 28, 2028. And as, a, as you, I said, this will be the best fighter in Europe able to carry the METOR the missile, which is the best European missile, into weapon B. And uh, all that features this fighter, and, uh, as I said, it's important for our Turkey and our regions, our different nation countries, and uh, hopefully this will be also a good fighter for the NATO, all the NATO allies. All the best to everybody and my team also, 
the coming week again, I will promise our nation is this will be the best European fighter. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, my name is the Deputy Director General, uh, Major General Goto of uh, uh, Acquisition Technology and Logistics Agency of uh, Japan Ministry of Defense. Uh, today we are exhibiting the uh, C2 transport aircraft of the Japan Air Self Defense Force and the P1 maritime patrol aircraft of the Japanese Maritime Self-Defense Force. So, so C2 transport aircraft is the Japan's uh, most modern transport aircraft. And as for the P1, this is uh, one of uh, Japan's modern maritime patrol aircraft. Hello. So C2 is capable of uh, operating uh, tactical transport operations as well as uh, strategic transport operations. Regarding tactical uh, uh, transport missions, it's capable of doing uh, paratroop drops, uh, airdrops, uh, as well as formation flights, uh, low level flight and so on. So we have two uh, objectives here today. So the first objective is for here uh, to the uh, participants uh, to, of the Paris Air Show to exhibit and show our high level of technical uh, advantages. Another objective is show to the uh, governments uh, around the world of the, uh, our defense equipment policy and an advanced technology so they have a better understanding of our defense equipment transfer promotions. Good morning. Uh, Russian Helicopters Company is a holding company incorporated all helicopter industry of Russian Federation under one umbrella. At the moment, we own two design bureaus, five, five manufacturer facilities and overhaul plants, as well as other uh, service companies. Uh, today at Paris Air Show, we are presenting uh, two helicopters Zansat, one in corporate version and another one in Hams version. Ansat has been designed by Kazan Helicopter Plant based in Tatarstan, and from Tatar language, Ansat means simple. So this uh, simple in maintenance and operation helicopter, uh, cheap, very robust and simple helicopter. This is twin engine helicopter powered by two powerful engines designed by Pratt & Whitney Company. Helicopter designed uh, in classic rotocraft scheme with four blades main rotor and two blades tail rotor with composite blades. It is multifunctional platform. Uh, it can be used in various missions. HAMS missions, uh, passenger configuration, VIP, uh, transport, uh, patrolling, search and rescue. In passenger configuration, helicopter can carry up to eight passengers in comfortable and spacious seats. Our priority is to improve and extend our cooperation with commercial customers worldwide. So we anticipate a lot of meetings to discuss the potential in any region of the world to supply Hansat helicopters. We are performing a number of contracts with our launch customers. It is China, Republic of Serbia, Mexico and so on and so forth.